Elizabeth Holmes, founder and CEO of the failed blood testing startup known as Theranos has been found guilty on four counts of fraud. And this was the conclusion of the four months long trial, four month long trial on the issue. So for those of you who maybe have not been following this story, let me give you some context and then I'll give you some detail in regard to the charges that she has been now convicted of. According to the indictment, the charges stem from allegations that Holmes and Ramesh Sunny Balwani engaged in a multi-million dollar scheme to defraud investors, and investors is really a key word here, and a separate scheme to defraud doctors and patients. Now, both schemes involved efforts to promote Theranos, a private healthcare and life sciences company with the stated mission to revolutionize medical laboratory testing through allegedly innovative methods for drawing blood, testing blood and interpreting the results of patient data. Um, now, Ms. Holmes had falsely claimed that Theranos' blood tests could defect uh, or detect, I should say, a variety of ailments with just a few drops of blood. Uh, I mean, the whole everything she was claiming was riddled with fraud. Uh, there was a whistleblower who blew the whistle on the reality of uh, the, this revolutionary technology and how uh, the technology wasn't really there. And uh, prosecutors were able to convince jurors that Holmes lied to investors about Theranos' technology in the pursuit of money and fame. Now she had become incredibly popular and incredibly wealthy while promoting Theranos and the technology that didn't really exist. In fact, she had an estimated personal wealth of $4.5 billion in 2014. Now, Holmes did capture the attention of heads of state. Wow, what a shocker with a private revolutionary healthcare model. Top business leaders and wealthy families with idealistic plans to revolutionize the healthcare industry. She traveled the world on private jets and was given awards and glowing magazine cover stories and lauded as the world's youngest self made female billionaire. In fact, let's take a quick look at this Forbes cover that celebrated her and again, the technology that she claimed she had but didn't really have. And so what are the guilty verdicts? Three counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud against investors and also one count of conspiracy to defraud investors. Notice how there was nothing there in terms of a conviction in regard to defrauding patients and doctors. So guys, <laughs> think about which one is more important. So they had a good, good write up on this and, um, and they explained a bunch of the things that, that they got wrong. So for example, they, um, one patient had HIV and the test didn't tell them that. That's pretty dangerous. Another patient had a, a dangerous pregnancy that could end her life. And the test said she wasn't pregnant uh, because the tests were a sham. They, were, they didn't work at all, right? Another one said that, oh my God, You've got a dangerous pregnancy that can cause a miscarriage or, or, or um, is, is gonna miscarry anyway, right? Well, in those situations, a lot of times they then induce the miscarriage to, to not go through that pain, right? Turns out she didn't have anything wrong with the pregnancy. Oh. So, I mean, what she did to the average person was unbearable. No prosecution because they're not powerful, so who cares? The reason she got prosecuted and, and convicted is because she dared to rip off other rich people. Her company was valued at $9 billion. She humiliated other rich people because they looked like idiots. They all rushed in. Now, here's a great part. This is, was this, I don't know if this was intended as a reference, but in the movie Don't Look Up on Netflix, there's one of these Silicon Valley types and he won't do peer reviewed studies. And the scientists are like, other scientists have to look at it, otherwise we don't know if it's gonna work. Her stuff wasn't peer reviewed and they gave her $9 billion anyway. They're like, who cares, we're gonna get rich. And if you're wondering why aren't these guys supposed to be the smartest people in the world with all of this money? Well, number one, the media lied to you. Just because they have money doesn't mean they're smart. That's just mythology. That's called the myth of meritocracy. Well, if they have the billions, they must be the smartest people. Do they look smart to you? They flushed it down the toilet on an obvious scam.
Right? That's why they're going after her like, you better punish her. Yeah. She exposed us for the idiots that we are. I mean, right? what happened to Ozzy? Why did Ozzy fall apart? S same thing, same but thing. on a smaller level, and it was about digital media. And they got what? They got over a hundred million dollars. Yep. Over a, I think, look, the different people have it at different estimates. Some have it as high as 150 million dollars. All of it gone now, because they never had the numbers. They never had it in the first place. And so you're wondering, okay, fine, maybe these incredibly wealthy people aren't as bright as the media told me they are, right? But really, they keep throwing away money like this, why do they do it? I have a simple answer for you, and this is definitely it. You're gonna be thinking, no, nah, it can't be it. No, I swear to God, this is all it is, greed. Uh, yeah. Why okay. would anyone not believe that? No, no, they would believe it as like a contributing factor, but that so they but they're not going to check. Look, guys, I mean, there's still digital media companies out there that are worth billions of dollars that have received billions of dollars in investment. No, I'm not exaggerating. Billions of dollars in investment. Nobody ever did any due diligence. They don't even bother checking because they're like, oh, somebody else is going to invest. I'm going to invest. I want the money. Oh, that's a miracle. I want the money. I'm going to do it. I'm, it's me, 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 me. So you put in the FOMO, you put in the greed, and they get the nine billion dollars easily with no peer-reviewed science. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. And by the way, just to give you some more detail into um, how much the investors lost as a result of uh, the fraud. In total, Holmes was found guilty of defrauding investors of nearly $145 million. The underlying wire fraud amounts for those charges uh, ranged from $38 million for PFM Healthcare Master Fund, uh, from PFM Master Fund, uh, a San Francisco based healthcare hedge fund, to almost $100 million for Lakeshore Capital Management, a fund connected to the DeVos family office. Oh, love it. Can't get enough which, of it. Which, uh, you know, silver linings, you know, silver linings. As the Jamaicans <laughs> say, all good. Yes, all yes. All good. Couldn't be happier. And uh, of course, you know, she made the curious decision to testify uh, during this trial. I believe she testified over seven days and at some points had accepted uh, some responsibility for what she had done, but then uh, went on to blame her 20 year old business partner oh, yeah. for taking control of everything and really being at fault for everything that had gone down. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, she has been convicted at least of those three uh, charges charges pertaining to investors. And now she faces a maximum of 20 years in prison per charge, likely to be served concurrently. A sentencing date could not be set at a hearing next week or could be set at a hearing next week. As a first time offender, Holmes is actually unlikely to face the full term. She could also be fined and required to pay restitution to her former investors. If she ripped off you guys, I mean, she already endangered your health and she won't suffer any consequences for that, likely. Um, they're not, there's no talk of following up with more cases. They, why not? She endangered people's health. That's also against the law. By the way, there's an answer to why not. You wanna know what it is? Because if they say her company endangered your health, well, that could set a precedent for other companies endangering your health. And our government doesn't work for us. It works for the rich and the powerful and corporate interests. So corporate interests say, no, 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 no. We're not prosecuting her for endangering people's health because that might put me in trouble. Okay, we're only prosecuting her for wasting the money of the rich. Hey, it was a risky investment. You put the money in, you were the sucker. You didn't ask for scientifically reviewed articles. You didn't ask for actual any evidence. The funny thing is, I'm not sure I would have convicted her on this. Well, you should have done your due diligence. Oh, fascinating. Right? I mean, I would have convicted her on endangering people's health, but hey, you're an idiot who wants to put in $150 million without checking. That's kind of on you, brother. I know, but I think that sets a dangerous precedent. I mean, I immediately thought back to the Wall Street fraud that took place in the lead up to the housing crash. Right, I mean, think about how they lied about the soundness of those mortgages. And were they ever prosecuted? No, they weren't. No, no of they, not. and they absolutely <laughs> should have been. But my point is, if you don't prosecute her for the fraud that she engaged in, because look, the securities fraud that Wall Street engaged in, I'm actually shocked that they didn't have to suffer the consequences for that. No, I'm not shocked by anything anymore. So, look, we talk about precedent here, but really, 
nobody cares anymore. The prosecutors don't care, the government doesn't care. They'll violate precedent, they'll be hypocritical. So her, they get on a wire fraud. Well, how about the guys to Anna's point that ripped us off of billions of dollars in 2008 in the home crash? Nope, you know the only people prosecuted were people that ripped off other rich people during 2008, a Goldman Sachs partner, right? but not for the fraud, but because he defrauded other Goldman Sachs board members. Defrauding you guys, rock and roll. That's n no prosecutor is gonna go after you, go after a rich person for that. You defraud other rich people, then you're in law and trouble. Our government is so corrupt. We Today there was a story about how Lula is probably gonna win in Brazil. We had a great progressive win in Chile. Yeah. Other governments are far more democratic and far cleaner than our government is. Uh. America now one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Yeah, I mean, America is definitely corrupt. I'll get into the details of that Brazilian election story on the show tomorrow, so don't miss that. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.